16.1, here we go. Um, I wanted to get you guys a good warm up video that you can watch beforehand before you get ready to do this thing, especially if you're here in our gym, CrossFit for Glory. We're gonna have this running the whole time um, in the coach's office so the next heats can kind of come in, watch, see what they need to do, um, take care of the warm up, and then be ready to go as soon as their heat is called up. Uh, so we've got kind of a, a four part warm up going here general warm up, a dynamic warm up. Um, some mobility considerations sort of warm up there, and then a specific warm up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start the general aerobic warm up. Uh, this is going to last, you know, 8 to 12 minutes. Put up here approximately 10. Um, really just kind of depends on what you're feeling. Um, somebody that is a little bit tighter, a little bit stiff, if uh, you're feeling cold out, um, maybe extend the aerobic piece to that 12 minutes. If you're feeling fresh, you're young, you're limber, ready to go, you know, maybe you only need 8 minutes. Uh, but the goal here is um, a couple of things. Get the heart rate elevated, and then we want to get the core temperature elevated, get good circulation throughout the blood, and then get a uh, little bit of a light sweat going. So these are just some general kind of suggestions in terms of what you can do for a uh, just a very light, good aerobic warm-up. Uh, row for a minute, step ups to a uh, small box or a bench, you know, nice and steady for a minute. Uh, single arm overhead carries. So literally pick up a very light dumbbell, lock the arm out, just walk back and forth, you know, for a minute, switch arms at the halfway mark. Single unders, so don't worry about double unders, just nice and smooth, something to get the heart rate up. Uh, jog, go for a little jog, you know, that's not going to be my style. And then uh, ski erg, ski erg for a minute. So mix and match these, you know, try to come up with something for 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes again. Goal here, heart rate, core temperature elevated get some good circulation, get a light sweat going. Then we're gonna to move to the more dynamic warm-up piece. Um, so this is stuff that we do every day in the gym. Um, the goal here is to take all of your joints through a full range of motion. This could take about three minutes, give or take. Um, so think of uh, elbow to instep, lunge of rotation, quad stretch, uh, get into some arm circles, arm swings, arm hugs, uh, leg cradle, knee hug, and then you'll notice that we're gonna get a little bit more dynamic here, high knees, butt kickers, broad jumps. Make sure uh, we're gonna throw in some protraction and retraction to kind of get the scaps woken up. Uh, some air squats, push-ups, and ring rows. Uh, so the stationary things, you know, arm circles, you know, small, big, large, uh, arm swings, arm hugs, those things. You know, think 10, 15 repetitions. Just something to get some good dynamic range. Uh, the stuff where you're moving back and forth, just like we do here in the gym, you know, maybe 40 feet down for one movement, and then 40 feet back for another movement. So it's not rocket science, same, same stuff that you do if you come into our gym on a daily basis. Mobility considerations. This could be anywhere from five to 10 minutes. For those of us, uh, the older, quote unquote, wiser crowd, maybe we have some more restrictions. Uh, maybe you wanna stick on the longer end of things. So what we're trying to do at the end of the day, this workout is all about opening up your hips and shoulders. So these are just some very general suggestions. Think uh, couch stretch, lay across the, uh, the med ball, I'll show you that one in just a second. Spend some time with the lacrosse ball, opening the traps and the first rib area up in there so that that overhead carry is really, really good, comfy up there, so that the pull up, whether you're doing the chest bar or the jumping pull up variation is comfortable. Bulletproof shoulders, uh, we'll link to that video that we shot uh, a long time ago. That's a great routine to go through just to kind of get the shoulders and everything woken up. Uh, and then some general band work. So the two that I want to show you right now uh, is one, laying across the med ball. So what we're thinking about here is opening up that T-spine. So literally just get on a med ball, kind of wrap yourself around it, roll back, open everything up, take a deep breath in, exhale out, look back the other way, just feel the T-spine open up. All right, so that's one that you can do. And then the other one was the, the band work. So I set up a band here, very simple, uh, kind of the old PT, IYTW thing. We're just gonna go 10, 15 of these, then 10 to 15 of these, 10 to 15 of these, and then take a little half step in for this next one. Arms out, rotate them back. Again, 10 to 15 of these. We're not looking to crush your shoulders here. We're just looking to uh, fire everything up. And then finally, the specific warm-up. So think about this in terms of walking through the movements that you're actually going to do in the workout. 
So depending on if you're going with the overhead walking lunge or the front rack lunge, you want to make sure that you practice that. Uh, burpee. You know, this is a good time to get a feel for your burpee pace and your transitions. Uh, and then finally, the pull-up. Are you going with the jumping pull-up? Are you going with chest to bar? Uh, just make sure that you get a feel for all those. We're not going to go through strategy at this time. That's going to be shot in another video. Um, but this is the, uh, the kind of suggested warm-up that we're giving to people. If you got any questions, uh, ask us if we're out in the gym or post in the comments if you're not part of our gym. Thanks, guys.